<laughs> How are we guys? Today we're going to go over a couple of pre-flight checklists that we're going to do before we fly in the Phantom 3 drone. Also today we're going to go over some water so I want to give people that are not quite confident about flying the drone over water yet, I want to give you a couple of tips what you want to do before you take the thing out of water including ca calibration of the compass things like this making sure that the DJ app is all ready for it okay so first of all I'm going to show you how to turn the control on all right quite simple press down once release and then hold down again for three seconds you notice the lights come along here indicating that the controller is now turned on okay just get my tablet on now for the Phantom itself you'll notice at the back here this is the button same sequence as we do with the controller press once release and then hold down again for three seconds until you see all the lights come along and they'll blink you'll notice now camera self calibrate itself okay you'll notice the flashing lights the lights flashing here is an indication that the drone is now trying to find compasses and it's trying to get it a link up with the GPS all right once you see those green flashing lights like that we'll be able to see that it's found the calibration on the GPS okay DJI and fat press the app on your phone or on your tablet generally get that little thing will come up to ask if you want to update the firmware if you don't have the latest firmware I suggest that you update to the latest firmware okay hit the camera app give it a second okay so you notice here it's telling you the status of the aircraft firmware version is the latest all right so we're up to date with the firmware it's telling us now that the the compass is normal but because we're flying at a new location guys a good thing that you always want to do when you're flying at a new location is to calibrate the compass if you're not familiar on how to calibrate the compass I'll go through it now all right so on the app here you'll notice the calibrate compass basically click on that all right when that warning comes up hit the OK button pick your drone up hold your drone out in front of you battery facing towards you Turn a 360. Notice that the green lights have now gone from yellow back to green. Once they go green, face the front of it, no, nose down, and do the same again. Okay. Flashing green lights means that the calibration's worked. And safe to fly GPS. Okay. couple of things that you need to note guys elevation level height height will be zeroed at where you start your drone at if you're flying out over cliffs you need to remember that when you're coming down you will be going down past zero when you start going down towards water levels and stuff like that okay what we're going to do now is we're going to take off basically All right, so a couple of different ways we can take off, guys. One way that you can take off to start the motors is get the control stick, two thumbs down in a diagonal position. You get an indication there, motors have started. All right, obviously you can see the camera feed which is being displayed here. To take off, two ways again to take off. One, to simply press up on the controller, or second way, You hit the take off button over the side there. All right, I prefer to take off manually. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the aircraft up in the air a little bit, going to take it out over the water, and we'll see what we can see. Okay, here we go. Okay, so as we're flying out over the water, guys, okay, just be aware to keep an eye 
both and you need direct line of sight with the drone and you need to be able to see very well on your screen what's going on.